buddy. Hey guys, welcome to Daryl Intense. I'm here with my buddy Antonio and Joe, and we are here tonight on the farm, uh, at the farm pond, and we are going to do some Dutch oven cooking tonight. Now, little uh, little known secret, Antonio, my pal Antonio here, happens to be good friends with Kent Rollins. That's a fact. Yeah. So, Antonio, what are we having for dinner tonight in the Dutch oven? Is it a Kent Rollins? Uh, yes, it is. Fantastic. What are we having? Hodgepodge soup. Oh, great. Terrific. All right, so we're going to start that. And uh, not, now, now, when I tell these guys, you know, when I tell my buddies here that you're friends with Kent Rollins, why, I would say that because why? Um, well, because, because we met and I shook his hand and he shook mine and we became friends that day. I love it. And yeah. he ended up giving you... His apron. His apron. Yes. You know what he's given me? You know what Kent Rollins has given me? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing but grief. <laughs> Nothing but grief. Kent, if you're watching, and I'm sure you are, first of all, Kent, subscribe to Daryl Intense, like the channel. But uh, hey, I, you know, I could, I could wear an apron too. I mean, I might, I might fill it out a little more than Antonio does, <laughs> but uh, you know, it's worth a shot. Okay, hodgepodge soup tonight. That's what's on the menu on the Dutch oven tonight, right here. Glad you're here. Okay, so Antonio's starting the fire with. Uh, with the ferro rod, that's great. You're shooting some good sparks there. That's that's terrific. Okay, Antonio, what are we doing? We are going to brown the hammer meat here in just a minute. Okay. If I can get it in here. There sure. Antonio's here and Joe's here and and Antonio's brother and father are here. And, oh, yeah. It's guy's night at the farm pond. Now, is that one onion? Is that multiple onions? This is what are you three onions there? in here. Three onions. Yep. All right, to go with the four uh, pounds of hamburger. Yes. We are feeding the troops tonight. Oh, yeah. Get, get the smoke oh, look at that. Oh, that's great. Really? That's what my buddy yep, that's done. browning up. Brian Miller Almost done. Mm, man, do you smell that? Oh, it smells great. Yeah. That's crazy. So he does it on the, you know. I just need to wait until the red goes away, then we'll add our cans in. You bet. It and absolutely it'll, smells it'll great, man. That's looking good, Antonio. Okay, Thank so you. what what goes in first? This is minestrone soup. Okay, all right. This is the main part of the meal. All right, and how many cans of that will you put in? We'll put in four cans. Four cans, okay. Yes. Great. Now this is, let's see, ranch-style beans. Ooh. This should be pretty good. Wow. That's going to be terrific. It's really colorful. Yeah. I'm going to go ahead and add another can of... Soup? Soup, yeah, minestrone soup. Look, it's filling up. Wow. This is Rotel. And this right. is tomatoes with peppers, and that'll oh, give it a yeah. little bit of spice to it. Great. Let's see, I already had two cans. Another can of minestrone soup. We're gonna eat like kings. Oh, you betcha. You drain this? Yes, please. Wow. We're not done yet, we're almost done. Right there. This is golden hominy. Hominy? We'll put this in here. Hominy. How many you put in? We'll put in two. <laughs> yeah, two hominy. <laughs> hominy, hominy. Another can of ranch style beans. Wow. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. <laughs> yep. <laughs> and that's a 12 inch uh, lodge cast iron. Yes, it is. Dutch oven. That's a beauty, man. That's a beauty. Man, look at that right there. Wow. There you go. Wow. That's some pretty good protein right there. Right on. Yeah. <laughs> now we're about to add another can to it, if it'll fit. It's Bush's beans, and this will give it a little bit of sweetness. Oh, my. There you go. Okay, I better start that in now. Wow. 
doing a great job, Antonio. Yes, Thank you, you are. Do you guys have do you guys have bowls and plates? Here we go. Wow. That, my friend, is hodgepodge soup. That is impressive, brother. Thank you. Wow. Yep, it's done. It's ready to eat. There's a lot going on in there. Oh, yeah, there is. <laughs> <laughs> is that good? Yep. Is that warm enough? Yes. All right, wait for the next bowl. All right, fill that bad boy up, Antonio. All right. I should fill a guy up. <laughs> right on. Man, this is hot. My hands That's are great. Hot. Here you go. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Perfect. <laughs> well, this is my first time with the uh, trying out the hodgepodge soup. Kind of looking forward to it. Antonio's worked his brains out making it all happen. <laughs> oh yeah. The hominy, the rotel, the hamburger, the onions, the variety of beans, minestrone. Bon appetit. My taste buds are doing somersaults. <laughs> Yeah, too. Pretty good. <laughs> wow. That is great. Hodgepodge soup. There's plenty more. Wow, that's delicious. <laughs> and we've got buttered, fresh corn on the cob. Been cooked on the coals with a slab of butter in every. Wow. Salt and pepper. I bet I do. Really good with it. <laughs> this is living. Oh yeah, living the dream. I think. Wow. <laughs> oh yeah, that's. You want me to rotate your corner for you? You got you know it. What I got it. All right. Thank you, man. Uh, they must be coming in to get a drink. I guess. <laughs> they don't make it. Right. Good. Very good. Come on, bro. Who doesn't love camping? There are a few people that do not like it. <laughs> yeah. but I can't believe it. Okay, tonight we are making some chocolate eclairs. So I'm putting a little, uh, putting a little Pam baking spray. You say, what's the difference between regular baking spray and Pam baking spray? This stuff smells terrific. Take a whiff of that. That's pretty good. It does smell good. It smells yeah. sweet. It smells sweet. The Pam baking stuff. So we're making chocolate eclairs tonight, and you're saying, well, how are you doing the chocolate eclairs? Well, as you see, I'm using the double, the double pie iron. And I'm using the double pie iron because of what I'm, uh, you know, the, uh, the equipment that I'm having to use here for tonight. Yep. So what we've got is um, we've got croissants. You say, but, but Daryl, you always say croissant dough, you, the sheets. I do but I could not find croissant sheets. And I'm hoping it's just because this one time they're all gone, uh, but they'll be back. But if not, I would be forced to use merely original croissants, uh, 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 which, which is fine, you know, well, uh, it's, it's fine. Uh, but, but because I'm using that, uh, I need the larger, I need the larger uh, pie iron. I need the larger pie iron. To make that work, there are just two of us now. So what I'm going to do? Is I'm going to make one and one. So let me let me show you what we've got. We take vanilla snack pack, made with real milk. Any milk allergies? No dairy allergies, Joe. Okay, good. All right. So what we're doing is we're taking the snack pack. Right, vanilla snack pack. Yeah. 
Now this snack pack has been in the cold, so that's good. And notice I'm trying to leave about a half an inch all the way around uh, so that I don't uh, so that I don't botch that, so that I, so that it won't bleed and I can pinch the edges uh, really good. Okay. So yeah, all right. Okay, so we got the snack pack pudding there, and then I'm going to take this one and I'm going to lay it on top. And that's where I want to pinch it on the edges. And now I put this whole thing into the pie iron. You say, but wait a minute, you forgot about the chocolate. This doesn't, doesn't, I thought like a chocolate eclair needed to have chocolate. Oh, be patient, my friends. Be patient. We're not done yet. So we're going to put this in here. And we're just going to let it cook for a little bit. What I what I always like to do is preheat the pie iron so that they're already they're already in cook mode. And uh, unfortunately, I didn't do that this time. So for this first one that we're making, uh, it's going to take a little bit for it to heat up, and uh, that's just that's just part of the deal. By the way, if you have the, the double pie irons and uh, the weight of the iron is more than what the wood handle can handle, it's not uncommon that your wooden handle will snap with the weight of the cast iron. That's where you take these um, hose clamps and uh, voila, perfect, works great. Getting it cooked over there. The back side's getting cooked, not the front side. Okay, let's think. What what what, what would that do? <laughs> I mean, it's right on the flame, right? Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. That soup was good. The kid did a good job on that soup. Oh, man. Rocked it out. Just knife that all, all, all over the top. Like your ice on the top of a cake. Absolutely. Chocolate eclairs. Now, notice that we used whipped icing. That was on purpose, and the reason is because the whipped icing is more airy and will actually begin the process of uh, melting much faster. Yeah, cut that open and let's take a look at what you got. <laughs> Isn't that beautiful? What's wrong with that, man? <laughs> What's wrong with that? That's awesome. Okay, Joe, cut a bite off there, and let's see if we can get some, see a little happiness. We'll, we'll see. <laughs> let's see what happiness looks like. Very good. Very good. Chocolate well eclairs on the pie irons over a campfire. Well, it's a gorgeous night. It's, uh, my gosh, it's August, you know, the first of August, and yet... Uh, I've got my fleece on. It's uh, supposed to get down to 52 degrees overnight tonight, which is just unseasonably mild for uh, Midwest summer, uh, early August. That's absolutely terrific. But we're just, uh, Joe and I, just sitting back around the campfire drinking a cup of coffee and watching the fire about a quarter till nine and uh, just sitting, chewing the fat, listening to the sound of the bullfrogs and the crickets. 
and loving every second. Well, it's 11 o'clock, and uh, the uh, fire's burning out, and I'm burning out, and Joe, how you doing, Joe? You burning out? I'm turning in. Yeah. Joe's, Joe's turning in. <laughs> We're going to call it a night. We got a couple of tents. I got the Ozark Trail uh, tent cot over there waiting on me, and uh, yeah, it should be a good night's sleep. Temperature tonight down to 53 degrees. Uh, for the first week of August is just incredible. But, uh, yeah, looking forward to that. So we're going to call it a night, and I'll, uh, I'll talk to you first thing in the morning. Hey, good morning. It is uh, 6 o'clock, 52 degrees, and, uh, yeah, going to get up, grab a cup of coffee, and uh, I've got just a little bit of time to go catch the big show. Let's watch the sunrise this morning. Well, it only happens once a day, but it happens every single day. Sun's coming up on a new dawn, a new beginning. Yesterday's in the books, and today's yet to be written. I hope it's a great one for you. Thanks for watching. If you like the videos, click the like button. It really does help the channel grow. And subscribe to the channel if you've not yet subscribed. Great to have you on board. And if you click the notification bell right next to the subscribe button on the main page, then every time that I post a new video, you'll be along for the ride. Thanks for watching. God bless.